welcome to my site code diaries uh, today we are going to see uh, uh, site core workflows introduction to site core workflow a basic this will be a basic uh, video on the site core workflow to just to introduce to the workflows i am chitendra khanekar i am a site core architect from mumbai before starting uh, please uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update and if you are liking our videos then please like uh, uh, please share it with your uh, colleagues and do provide your uh, feedback on uh, via the comment so let's start uh, today's topic it's introduction to site core workflow so what we are going to see in this uh, uh, video what is the contained workflow what are the workflows in site core how to configure simple workflow and what is workbox so what is contained workflow so basically workflow is a flexible and controllable controllable way of content creation maintenance and review so whatever contain which you are creating the uh, the process of controlling it uh, the maintaining it reviewing it is called as a workflow okay so you will have you your content creator will create uh, the uh, content your content reviewer will uh, review that content and your content publisher will kind of publish the content so basically content creator who's just creating those content so you might have number of rounds of reviews on those content so you have a content reviewer to doing that he will finalize that and once he finalize it will go to the publisher publisher will decide when to publish that so there might be some campaign which is like like in the, uh, uh, for independence day you are want to release some kind uh, some campaign or some article so that day he will publish it so this is how it will move okay. so if you uh, uh, if you define the how what site code is defined the workflow workflow enables you to have a control over the contained workflow okay so it is a control over your contained workflow a uh, uh, content approval and publishing process how will you publish it that is also controlled by the workflow ensuring that only content that has been approved is published so there are many aspect of accept aspect of a uh, content like you have uh, you need to it is it is grammatically correct uh, the the language it should have a, it should not have any copyrights content uh, it, it should be uh, uh, legally correct so all those things should be Uh, should have been completed before uh, moving that to the before moving making it to the content so that process is a workflow okay so if you see how workflow is defined the workflow is a series of a predefined states that reflect the work processes and procedures for creating web content in your organization this is how cycle defines the workflow or the workflow definition a workflow is a series of a predefined states so there are different status which is predefined status in the workflow which will that reflect the work process so that tells you where it uh, where the content is okay and the procedure of creating web content so when you when to publish it the process of publishing it in your organization that is called the workflow workflow in site code so let's see how site code defines the workflow okay in site code term what is how it is uh, uh, created okay so if you uh, if you go to the site code you will have a something like this okay something like this tree which is called as a workflow okay so what is workflow it's a parent item that contains all the sub item that makes up the workflow so here you have a sample workflow okay this is one workflow okay which will have different states and actions and commands okay but this first node is called as a workflow okay which makes the complete workflow then state so what is state it is the basic building blocks of the workflow the workflow state represent a different stages in your content creation process so as per your requirement you can have a different kind of a workflows okay so if this if you see the sample workflow in this there are three types of a states okay first is a draft state a draft state where it is the only the uh, content is in the draft mode then second is a, a waiting approval so once draft is completed then it will go for a review so that state is up, awaiting for approval so once it is moved from awaiting uh, from approval to then it will go to the approved state so these three okay draft awaiting uh, approval and the approved are the states in the uh, site code okay then you have a command 
okay what is command when the command is executed the item is moved to the workflow state that is defined in the command item so you you define what is the next state so you have a initial state so you like here you draft can be your initial state and what will be the next stage if you submit that that will be a awaiting approval so what that submit is your command okay so when it is submit when you click on a submit it will move to the next state okay so that next state is will be awaiting approval so that is the your command okay so immediately you have approve command it will approve then it will move to the approved one if you make it rejected it will go back to the trap so that is your next command okay then you have a action so now what is action actions that are automatically performed on the items when they are particular workflow state so when it comes to the particular stage then what action it should uh, perform like if 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 the contain is moved to the approved state then it should perform the auto publish so auto publish your action similarly you have a different uh, actions like launch create test uh, dialog okay uh, so like if you reach to the approve it then it will have this launch test create test dialog box so it will start uh, 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 just testing the uh, your uh, uh, content okay so this kind of a uh, this is a simple workflow okay how will you define in the site code so the uh, the very important things in the site code is you have a state command and action state is actually the states where you are your content workflow reside like you have a draft awaiting approval approval these are the some we uh, sample workflow uh, okay so you can have depending on your your requirement you can have a multiple uh, uh, states okay so similarly you have a command so command basically define when to move from one state to another state and action is something where it should get automatically executed so now let's see how to configure a simple workflow if you want to uh, configure a simple workflow then how it will feel, how, how it can be done <clears throat> okay let's take a same example what we are currently we have seen in last uh, uh, last slide okay but this before before defining your simple workflow you have to document it what are the different states in your workflow what are the different commands and what are the different actions on those commands okay so first step is uh, in the container edit editor we have to go to the system workflow and right click and uh, on the root of the workflow item and then insert a workflow so basically you have a system and then you have a uh, workflow here okay so this is uh, by default it will be there you have to right click it okay if you right click it it will show like this okay where you can insert a workflow so okay, insert workflow okay so this is how you will insert a workflow then you have to set a values for initial state once you add the workflow you will have the that te its template and it will create this workflow mm -hmm. where you have to set the initial state so what are the different uh, steps uh, state you have you can select your initial state okay then this is the default uh, uh, comment uh, template the way you comment is displayed that is given by this one you, if you have a requirement where you have to create a different template then you can have the custom template there and then what is the height of the dialog height uh, of that comment box okay this is how you will uh, define okay this is the first step where you will create a basic first workflow item okay then you have to uh, add the states what are the different states uh, you want uh, you want in as per your requirement like uh, we said we will go for the basic one like draft review and approved state okay so you have to click on right click on your uh, uh, the newly added workflow and you can add the state so it will add a state so there there we have to add the what are the different state like you we have a draft review and approve okay then first is the initial state which we have to state set up when you create the sample test workflow there you have to state the initial state then you have the final state what is the final uh, state so that like we have approved one so if you select that approved then there will be a checkbox like this will checkbox will be there that is shared final you have to select that that means the, if you select it for the approved that means it is the last uh, uh, state of the workflow and it will get published after that okay then uh, you have to uh, add the command and the actions so for the state 
if you right click you will get command for the command if you right click you will get action okay so whatever the required command and action that you need to add okay so this is this is uh, how, this is why we should be documenting the workflow what is what are the different states you have what are the different commands on that command what action should be happen so that if you if you document that then you can easily create this okay okay once you create your states uh, commands and actions uh, then uh, uh, that is your workflow is ready now you can apply that workflow on your items okay so let's see how it can be done so for creating uh, the workflow uh, sorry uh, work applying it into the workflow before that uh, you have to do one more important thing i think that i have missed it that is you have to state the next state so we have a three stage then what will be the uh, like you are a trap what will be the next stage so that can be done why uh, for each uh, uh, state you will have this uh, next state uh, uh, property where you can select what will be the next state okay and then uh, you you are having the uh, uh, different uh, actions uh, template okay so you can have the uh, this kind of a different actions like email action validation action so depending on that action you will have a different template like for validation action you can have this template where you can set max result unknown result warning result etc okay so all these things you have to uh, set up on your uh, workflow before applying it to the item okay so once you create your item you create a state command and then uh, then actions and for each command sorry each state you define what is your uh, next state for each for the workflow you, you define your uh, uh, your initial state right then you each each uh, state you define your the next state then for each action uh, what are the what select your appropriate template set up that <coughs> uh, then uh, all these are done then you have to set up it on the uh, your template okay so you have to apply the uh, to the template so set up the workflow on your standard values okay so uh, select which template you want to apply the workflow so go to that templates standard value okay you select the review and there will be this option workflows where you can select that uh, the uh, your initial workflow so now whatever uh, workflow you are created you select that once you selected that that workflow will get applied to that template so now you if you create any new item from that template it will have this workflow it will follow that workflow okay so what will happen if, if you try to create that item and you try to save it okay once you applied workflows on standard values item created from that template will have the workflow once you create that uh, template and you, if you try to edit it you will have workflow actions whatever you have defined okay and you will get the one submission of that actions you will get the comment so this is how it will move in the uh, workflow okay so this is this is the basic uh, um, of the simple workflow okay so remember to document your, your workflow before actually working on it okay define your all states or uh, in each state what is your uh, your command each command what are the different actions and then uh, you set up uh, that workflow on whatever the template uh, you want to create so you can create uh, apply that uh, that workflow on the standard value this is the basic uh, basic uh, concept of a workflow now let's see what are workbox okay so in your uh, launch pad you might see uh, this kind of a uh, uh, you might see an option for workbox and once you click it you will see this kind of a uh, uh, ui okay so the basically the workbox give you an overview of all items that are in the workflows okay so whatever the items which you have created it will give you over it will give you like a dashboard kind of a thing where uh, you, uh, it will have all the uh, 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 all the items in the different states so if you see here you have a sample test workflow there you will have draft and review you have a sample workflow 
draft and you see here awaiting approval where you can have added the new item so that is on now in the approval awaiting approval where user can approve it review it reject it everything will be done here okay so in the workbox you can see editing history also of the item in the each workflow each item workflow state the number of items in the each workflow state so basically workbox is nothing but the actually a dashboard of your uh, uh, your your items okay your history of your items okay what what kind of a content is created who has reviewed it all those things will come here and you also can review it so it's a, it is a one place where user can do anything okay content editor can do any activity depending on their roles okay so this is the workbox so we are done with uh, uh, today's topic if you have any question you can reach me on my gmail id or my linkedin id if you like the video please click on a like button please share it with your friends please provide your feedback or over a comment till now if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and click on a bell icon to get the latest update thank you thanks for watching